It was a different story, though, for General Electric, which matched profit expectations but saw its revenue slide. The conglomerate, which is working to transform itself into cutting-edge digital industrial company, is still dealing with a long-running problem its oil business. As a result, shares slumped 2 percent, making it the worst performing Dow stock on the index today. Morgan Brennan has more. General Electric is in the midst of a multi-billion dollar reinvention, and investors would like to see more of a payoff. Weakness in oil and gas operations dragged revenue lower, though the company anticipates improvement later this year, as that market stabilizes and the business is merged with Baker Hughes. On a call with analysts, CEO and Chairman Jeff M. Elt reiterated guidance and called 2016 a, quote, solid year, all things considering. G executed well in a slow growth and volatile environment. We see optimism in the United States, and uh, here orders grew by 23 percent. In addition, Europe is strengthening, and we see positive momentum. Meanwhile, the resource sector and related markets continue to have headwind. There were also bright spots. Sales were strong in renewable energy and power generation. And while orders for equipment fell, orders for services jumped 20 percent, a good indicator for future earnings, as GE transforms back into more of a traditional industrial company. Analysts say today's results are a bellwether for the broader sector and as such, could be signaling the final innings of the industrial recession. It says we are still in a slow growth world. We are still in a slow growth state in, uh, in the United States. Uh, and there needs to be some catalysts to driving new growth other than just comparing against easier numbers every year. And that's going to come from, I think the great hope is, a combination of changes in, uh, in tax rate, tax policy, and in infrastructure investment and elsewhere. Customers are generally feeling better, uh, but there's still uncertainty. Uncertainty around the tax code, which could potentially include fees on imported goods, and uncertainty around health care as President Trump seeks to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. Just two of the policy changes that could impact GE and its peers. But on this inauguration day, much still remains to be seen. In the meantime, the drop in sales also meant a drop in the stock. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.